Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Wednesday afternoon weather webcast for April 23rd, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. Thanks for clicking on to it. Uh, we've got uh, a very quiet pattern setting up for us right now. Very typical summertime pattern, actually. We'll show you why that is in a second, but very warm this afternoon, much warmer than we've seen here recently with low 80s already by the uh, 2 o'clock hour as we look at the clock right now, 2 o'clock on the dot, and it only gets warmer from here. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll also talk about the chance for some uh, thunderstorms in the forecast as well. We'll get to all of it in a second. But today, I want to show you something pretty interesting. We had some fog early develop, and that lifted. And then we saw some very uh, scattered cumulus clouds, but we also saw a little boundary develop right near the Gulf, and that is the sea breeze that has gotten started. You can see, and uh, we'll stop it now. This is uh, the, the view right at 2 o'clock. You can see basically a line. If you draw a line right near the coast, where you see all the cumulus clouds you know, this way, off to the north, but there's no clouds near the coast. That is because a sea breeze has developed. What happens when a sea breeze develops? You get very cool water or relatively cooler water in relation to what you have over land. We saw a, a lot of sunshine, so heating up quickly for today, and that's why the sea breeze developed. One of the first ones we've seen this season, and uh, that's only going to uh, continue as the weeks go by leading into summertime and that's going to be responsible for a lot of our summertime convection here uh, especially down in the Florida Panhandle uh, through the summertime hours we all know about the sea breeze all right we'll talk about uh, more chances for rain here in a second temperatures though upper 70s low 80s more 80s than 70s on the map now 82s in Ozark Enterprise in Dothan Mariana even 81 in Panama City at the airport 77 in Destin down near the beaches even though the water temperature is still a cool 67 68 degrees it is getting warm around the panhandle beaches as of right now you saw the fog lift the sea breeze got going but other than that no rain in the forecast and uh, in the wire grass right now no rain around, along the gulf coast and there won't be in the forecast until maybe friday and we'll uh, look at that in a second but uh, around the uh, lower 48 we still have that area of low pressure spinning off the uh, northeast coast, basically in Canada now, some snowfall for folks up in Quebec. We also have a, uh, another uh, mid-latitude cyclone, another big uh, low pressure system in the uh, Midwest, in the upper Midwest, I should say, spinning. And uh, the cold front basically extends from oh, right near the Canadian border all the way down. That's the front. I guess I drew it with a yellow line instead of the cold front symbol, but you get the idea. And that's going to be the trigger for some possibly strong to severe weather. So here's the uh, severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, this is for today in the uh, yellow shaded region. That is a slight risk or an elevated risk. I don't want to categorize it as slight. We'll call it an elevated risk for severe storms. So a little bit uh, better than average uh, chance in that yellow zone that you'll see a severe storm for today. And that uh, extends from North Texas into Oklahoma, Central Oklahoma, uh, into Kansas and Nebraska. All right, for tomorrow, that shifts over to the east, basically along the Mississippi River in Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, uh, Missis uh, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So that slight risk, that yellow, that elevated risk, I keep calling it slight because that's the exact terminology, but we'll call it elevated because uh, a little bit better average a chance to see a, a strong to severe storm in the yellow shaded region for Thursday. Then for Friday, no elevated risk, but we do have a general risk of thunderstorms. And this is not severe weather. This is just a general uh, thunderstorm outlook. We could see a, a couple pop off, uh, especially along the sea breeze front. I think it'll be strong enough by Friday to pop off a shower, a thunderstorm, and maybe even one or two strong and maybe severe, very marginal though. It's not going to be the tornado threat. It will be, if anything, some uh, strong wind gusts, and that will be it. But uh, there is a chance to have some thunderstorms around here by the time we get to Friday, but it will be a very, very isolated chance. I just wanted to mention that. So the future cast for the rest of the night, the uh, clouds will start to melt away. Don't pay any attention to the green on the future cast. That's just some extra moisture being picked up there. And no chances for rainfall for tonight or tomorrow. I think we'll see a little bit more fog south of the border, south of the Alabama, Georgia, or Alabama, Florida state line, and uh, more <coughs> sea breeze uh, convection going on for uh, Thursday, but that will just be some uh, puffy white cumulus clouds that uh, basically what we see right now for the daytime hours on Thursday, so don't expect a whole lot of change between now and tomorrow. Temperatures, though, will be a little bit uh, cooler for tomorrow morning. I say cooler because it's probably three or four degrees, but still 
uh, from right near 60 early this morning to the upper 50s and maybe mid-50s for tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, we'll get right back into the low 80s with more middle 80s showing up. 86 in Donaldsonville, possibility in southwest Georgia. How about 83 in Andalusia, 83 in Mariana. This is by 2 o'clock, so we could see even warmer numbers than this by the time we get to 4 or 5 o'clock when the maximum heating of the day has taken place, and that's when we normally see our high temperatures this time of year. So it looks like uh, more warm weather, more fair weather cumulus clouds like we saw for today, but the chances, very, very small chances for some showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two on Friday. Thanks for clicking on the uh, Afternoon Weather webcast. If you have any questions or comments for us, uh, please leave them below. This will be posted on YouTube first and on Facebook, Twitter, and also Google+. Hopefully you have a great rest of your Wednesday. We'll see you back here on Thursday.